Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing lots of layers right now because the weather's just turned and we don't have any radiators in the Renault. Let me give you a little Renault update. So I bought the radiators and they're coming this week. They're like the nice column, like three column radiators. I hope they'll look really good. And other than that, we've just had the place whole replastered and which means a lot of painting. So I've been painting and this is the mist coat that you can see on the walls at the moment which is just like you have to to prime the walls you have to do like a watery white layer before you can do the proper coat and for the proper coat i've ordered some samples for from lick and i ordered loads of different samples and now i've got the paint to actually properly paint the place so that's really exciting because I just feel like it looks so much fresher and like cleaner once it's painted. I've done one room downstairs, I'll show you. And my plan today is to do this room, which is essentially my wardrobe room, kind of. So please excuse the absolute carnage that is the paint on the floor, but you can see how I've finished these walls and they're looking super, super fresh and just clean. It's a warm white, it's white 03 from Lick and yeah i'm really happy with how it's come out i've decided to do the ceiling brilliant white i feel like it makes the ceiling look a bit taller um yeah and just adds more lightness to the room when everything's super bright and I, or the only thing i haven't done is the cutting in around the top of the edge i need to go around with a paintbrush and then i think this room's pretty much finished like maybe a little bit more on the ceiling so here we ordered a radiator this took ages to come because we had to get it specially curved this is the one radiator we have it's not plumbed in and i think this is how they're all gonna look it's this kind of column style i feel like it's the trendy style at the minute and yeah i'm really really excited to have them plumbed in we've got sort of gold valves going in which should match the gold well, they're not gold yet, but these switches will be gold too. But yeah, so that's <laughs> that's the most done room, which is quite a hot mess. These are all flooring samples. My favourite flooring samples are, hello Alvin, these ones here. They're engineered wood. This one's like a chevron pattern, and this one's like wide planks. In an ideal world, I'd have these wide planks upstairs and this chevron throughout downstairs but it's really really expensive so i'm i'm thinking about it currently anyway back upstairs i'm gonna do this room the same color as that living room downstairs the bedroom's gonna be a darker beige the front the back of the house living room is going to be like a whiter beige because it's self-facing so it's got it gets lots of warm light so i thought it'd be too yellow in there my boyfriend's office he's getting having a teal color so it's gonna be interesting to see what that looks like. But yeah, I'm going for warm white in here. I'm gonna test out this wall back here just to see whether it's all right and it's not too light. It's a good time of day to do it because we're getting lots of light in here right now. Okay, so the audio didn't work on the next few clips, but it does come back, I promise. So you'll notice this is not the same day and it's because that same day, I discovered that we were having a leak in our bathroom that was pouring down through our kitchen. So that whole day was a mess. And basically I have since painted the house and wanted to give you a bit more of an update on how it's looking. So back to the living room. And just this morning, actually, I got our hearth installed at the fireplace here. So we are getting the whole flooring done and you have to have a hearth in first. It's some sort of like bath sandstone and he's going to come back and put the little bit of stone in the middle there so yeah boring fireplace stuff that you have to get done before the flooring this is the flooring i've gone for so these were the two i liked well actually there were a lot that i liked but the one on the right is the one i've chosen it's a sort of warmer toned i love that cooler tone i feel like it's very it's very like minimal and washed out, which I do really like. But I feel like maybe the warmer tone, just a little bit more timeless. They are engineered wood and we're having herringbone in this room and straight planks throughout the rest of the house. I really wanted chevron and that's what that sample is. It's meant to be chevron, but apparently you have to have like self-leveling compound put throughout if you want chevron and things like that. And yeah, I definitely don't have, well, we just can't be able to do that. It's too much. So yeah, straight planks throughout and just one, the main living room being a sort of 
herringbone and it will go up to the hearth like that and yeah and we can have a wood burner and stuff in there if we really want these are our radiators are actually installed now don't mind to the sill that's still covered in plaster and look at those amazing gold taps those are all my rejected flooring i could literally do a whole room with the amount of rejected floor examples i have and yeah, yeah how cute are these little gold taps i'm breaking the radiator yeah. as we speak but they are the three column style and i love them they're from these taps are from uk radiators actually and you can see they've got the wooden little black turning knob but i am so pleased with the radiators and it's perfect timing since it's gotten cold now this is our ceiling rose so it is it goes in the middle of the you know living room ceiling where the light comes out and i went for an art deco style one because it's a 1930s house yeah and it will go up there and i've got a beautiful pendant to go with it that i will show you so we got all the electrics redone in the house but we haven't had the second fix yet which is where they put the light fittings up and the switch covers on and stuff so i bought some fittings including these gold pendants i didn't know what to go for so i just thought these are simple minimal and these are mainly going to go everywhere and they will match the light fittings they are just from Danel, and they were like 12 pounds they're just like nice and simple and i feel like the gold is like i don't know i want it to have a bit of like an expensive aesthetic kind of you know just minimal nice chic grown-up look to it and then i also looked on ebay and bought this light that i'm obsessed with okay it's a 1975 pull down light it's by a certain designer i completely forget his name but i just love it and it has this like bungee cord that when you pull it down i just i wish our ceilings were taller so i could have it like really pulled down but i love the aesthetic of it it's like a mushroom color dome with this giant light bulb in it i just think it's wicked i'm gonna put it with the um ceiling rose as like a i don't know i like the mix of sort of like retro and old together and I think it will fit the vision. I'm very much like a, into beige interiors and stuff. And I think that will fit. As soon as I got that light, I told my dad about it. And he was like, oh, I've got one of those. He literally had this light that he's been keeping hold of since the 80s. I've never seen it before. But he just thought it was such a cool piece that he wanted to keep it. And he was like, oh, I'll show you. And here it is, this blue ceramic light. And he was like, yeah, you can have it. Like, he has no way for it. I am obsessed with it. I, I think it's so cool. I love this kind of, like, retro design. And I, I don't know where to put it yet, but I know it's going somewhere. I love it. So this is my new thing. Um, vintage light fittings. Lights are super expensive. And I don't know, they also say me. So it's nice to find something that I like that's a bit different. There is some crazy storm going on outside. So the light is terrible. We've got my little light on. I'm just in the mood to film. So we're going to film, okay? So first I want to show you some pieces from Cos. Cos at the moment is like my just favourite shop. Like I just want a black card from Cos. That is all I want. And I bought two things because it's Benny so I can't spend too much there. Um, let me show you. First up I bought this gorgeous alpaca brown cardigan. Right, let me put it on. It just feels so nice. The knit is literally gorgeous. And I love this brown colour. I love a dark chocolate brown, especially with black in this time of year. And it's got this really cute, like, so open collar. Now it goes up quite high. You can like wear it quite, like you can wear it like that, super cute. So it's almost like a roll neck in the winter. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It feels gorgeous. I love, 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 love Cos's knitwear right now. So that's the first piece I got. Now, next, I've been searching for the perfect winter boots. I still need some flat boots, but I wanted ones with like a, a short heel. I'm loving the kitten heel tr trend because it's like practical. Like you can actually wear them places. It's not too high. And you just don't feel like, I don't really want to be on stilts all the time. I want to like bop, out, bop about. I want to look classy, but also not too dressy. You know, I don't want to be in stilettos. Anyway. So I found these online at COS. Oh my God, how amazing are they? So they've got this like curved little heel at the back, pointed toe, leather, short boots. Oh my God, 
they're so beautiful i was really worried they weren't going to fit me because i do have a bit of a wide calf like sometimes on the ankle even like boots don't fit unfortunately which is very upsetting or oh, i don't know i feel like these jeans are the wrong length that's another thing getting the right length jeans to go with boots is tricky okay these jeans are much these jeans are a much better length i feel like you can see the boots now i just love them i feel like they look really expensive and classy i love the like little flick on the heel i feel like that gives it a little bit of fashion but they're so simple and understated like such a nice grown-up sophisticated leather boot i feel like i'm very much leaning towards sophisticated i'm trying to anyway so i'm just putting on my arquette trousers i feel like i 100 percent have shown you before and they have been the best buy maybe this year i don't know but they've been amazing and i've worn them loads and this loewe belt it's like a little bit obviously of an investment piece but been totally worth it i love wearing these together and i do again and again shamelessly let's do some zara pieces so this is a zara cardigan that has been a great buy i've worn it loads to sort of like events and out for dinners and things like that it's just like a really easy go-to and it's like more interesting than just wearing a plain black top and then for shoes i keep wearing these zara like kitten heels they just like sometimes i don't want to be really tall i have short friends and i love wearing something a little more dressy without actually wearing like a proper stiletto you know i'm always walking around i feel like and i need something a bit more practical so these little kitten heels just do it for me then bag so you've got the gold details and the little kitten heels easy to walk in and yeah i love these it was another reason i wanted to get those boots i love my gray bomber from zara so i thought i'd pick this one up as well it's cream what size did i get because it is huge okay it's a medium to large that'll be why um but it's just like a really lovely fabric i really like these bomber jackets that people are wearing sort of more elevated fabrics alvin wants attention hello alvin hello um yeah like this sort of wool bombers or um fabric bombers that you're getting it just sort of bridges the gap between looking casual and just like looking a little bit more sophisticated which i just feel like i'm leaning into i don't know if it's my age but i love looking a little bit more put together yet another zara piece is this zara vest towards the end of summer i was like early autumn i was wearing it with t-shirts but i'm gonna try it with this long sleeve top this one's just from weekday i really like vests i just they keep you extra warm and you can wear them underneath the jumpers if you're like me and forever cold yeah i think this works really nice another sort of like sophisticated look and generally i just find them cozy something i gravitate to towards to wear this is another vest i bought this is from massimo duty not zara so I bought a few things from Massimo Duty. Not gonna lie, I was meant, including a few t-shirts I was meant to return, but I didn't and I love everything so much anyway. You know, when you're just like, oh, I really maybe shouldn't spend that money, but I left it over the returns period and now it's mine. It's cashmere and it's so, so warm and beautiful and soft. And to be fair, I do feel like anything cashmere is more of an investment piece. That is what I am telling myself. I don't know if you can see it. I have styled it on my Instagram. Hello. Oh, am I there? I have styled it on my Instagram with just a grey t-shirt underneath. The grey t-shirt was from Massimo Duty. It's in the wash right now or I'd show you because the quality is beautiful. It just feels really like a luxurious t-shirt and sits very nicely, which is great. Like, that's the kind of elevated stuff that I'm going for. Oh, poor Alvy says I want to go out. Poor Alvy. Poor Alvy. We'll take you. I'll take you out soon. I'll take you out soon, I promise. I promise. I promise. 
Good boy. Okay, what next? More Zara pieces. So last year I had a grey jumper that people went crazy for on Instagram because it's honestly beautiful. I still have it and I love it. And this year they bought the same knit back but in this sand colour. It is just such a beautiful knit. It really holds its shape. This is the smaller size and it is, it is really oversized. But do you see how like it just sits in this like beautiful shape? Like it's really thick, it's got a lot of wool content in it, so it's super warm. And I've heard this is called the Millennial Tuck now. But, hmm, oh, maybe not. But it is a beautiful jumper. I like how it goes down at the back. And as knits go, this feels like a really good one from Zara. My one last year, I've worn it to death, and it looks amazing still. I'm staying with neutrals currently but i do love a bit of green i feel like very natural greens can work well year after year aside neutrals and this is just a little knit from zara i've seen some beautiful knits from places like Co no 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 from arquette they had a beautiful green knit in um that's like a bit pricier but obviously it's going to be nicer I love this colour on me for some reason, I don't know why. I do lean towards like a lot of greens and I really want a green designer handbag. So let me show you my mango one. So this is my little mango green bag. It goes so nicely with this jumper and I love it. I love the shape of it, the size of it, everything's perfect. Do you know what? It's actually quite a similar size. Yeah, to my little airbag. This is my dream. This is my perfect handbag size. So I would love a designer handbag in this colour. For some reason, all times of year, I find this colour really easy to style because my Jacquemus basket bag has this colour on it and I love styling that. It's just such an easy bag to style and so I would like a designer bag this colour. You do get, oh my gosh, what is it? A Bottega. Bottega has this colour but very pricey but that is on my wish list these trousers are also zara i think i'm going to return these though i've got a similar pair from unico that i prefer that are more of a straight leg these are a super wide leg and i haven't worn these i think i need to send them back and they're a bit lightweight actually um not good for winter they feel just like a little bit like a summer fabric. A pair of trainers I've bought recently are these Adidas Gazelles in like a red wine colour. I haven't bought new trainers in ages. My Sambas are probably my most used trainer. And I saw the a girl wearing these with an all black outfit and I was just like, I have to get those. I just love this colour for autumn and just think I needed like a fresh trainer that I could wear to events and stuff that like, like kind of smart because they are suede. I mean, they're going to be rubbish now the weather's all rainy but I love how they, the way they look really simple and this red wine colour is one of my faves I also have a workout outfit from a brand called Another Version I'll just show you in this beautiful red wine colour that I, I love love this set and I really like their leggings actually I've worn them to work out in a lot and um they wear really well, really nice, stretchy, that kind of like almost slippery like gym fabric if you know what I mean. Um, a bit like Adenola, just like Adenola to be honest. And I love this colour that they do. I've got it with like a little short sleeve t-shirt, not cropped though, long, which I like. Um, yeah, really cute little set there. And these trainers, I love these. Really good option if you're looking for like a slightly smarter kind of trainer, especially with the autumnal colours. Oh my god, coat! I, mean, I have not really gotten into the coats yet because I do have quite a lot of um, coats that I still wear. But this one was sent to me by What The Brand. It is a wool robe coat and it is glorious. It is way better than I thought from the pictures online. Does that mean? I When I got it, I was like, wow, this is like, it feels like it's got really good wool content in it. It, what I don't usually like about these sort of road coats is the way that it, 
you get a lot of coats like this, right? That it's just one layer of fabric. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's not. It's actually two like thin layers put together, but it looks like it doesn't have the sort of top stitching and seams. It's just like really minimal and sometimes they come off as too thin but this one is like a really nice good weight i love the length on it as well it just become it's like just below mid calf i feel like it's a great length on me i'm five six for reference and it feels lovely and warm i got the medium and it sits really well over sort of like big jumpers and things like that yeah, this is a coat that I was super, super impressed with. And it feels, just feels like, it feels like you are wearing a dressing gown, but it looks like quite nice and put together. Let me show you the whole, like, especially with a nice structured little handbag. I did actually, like don't tell my boyfriend, but I, last night I bought another Loewe bag, second hand online. And it's like an older, it's an old, like, it's a style they sell currently, but like the older version that they obviously had like 15 years ago or something. My watch is like beeping. But it's like grey and has like a monogram logo on it. I'm really excited for it to arrive. I'll have to show you when it comes because this is my Loewe Amazona that I bought second hand and I, it's all I ever wear. I just love this bag so much. And also it was like 140 pounds. Like, I think I got that one for about 400 pounds, but this one's really cheap. So I'm excited to see it. Next, I wanted to show you some lovely pieces I got from H&M. Continuing with the red wine theme, this bodysuit. Now this bodysuit was only like 11 pounds or something. The fabric feels really nice and I'll show you it on. It's like a sort of V-neck, just like, you know, slim fitting and a really, really gorgeous color. It goes perfectly with these trainers i keep saying this whole rule about how you're meant to match your top to your trainers or you're meant to match two pieces in your outfit color wise even though i feel like this is very like on the nose matchy matchy but i i really like this um i really like this bodysuit i think it looked great with those boots from the beginning as well um but yeah nice simple little basic from h&m this top is another great one. It is sort of like a textured, like, you know, that sort of like hairy sort of texture. And I'm really enjoying grey in general, actually, this autumn, and feel like it's nice to wear shades of grey with sort of different textures. Something really nice about the fact that autumn and winter fashion bring so many textures. And I don't know if it's in my brain, but it gives me Mew Mew vibes, this top, for some reason love the sort of like longer sleeves and yeah I just think this is a nice chic little H&M top then with this like it looks nice with this coat this is an old ASOS coat I think they're bringing back the shape I think they've got the shape online and um, like the double breasted but it's just a different fabric it's like a boucle fabric I will link it and I wore this the other day I styled this outfit let me show you with people styling jumpers as scarves I might post this outfit on Instagram actually. And I wore this scarf. This is a Unico jumper that I was wearing at the beginning of this video. It's so, so nice actually. Um, really perfect gray color. And I sort of wore this outfit, this kind of thing. I think I was wearing gray trousers. So it was an all like gray look, back, like black accessories. But I love this kind of vibe, off topic and yeah this top really nice love the gray it does need a t-shirt underneath it it's a little bit itchy yeah i definitely recommend just wearing something underneath i do often feel quite conscious of like content knitwear content of what's in it so it really does make a difference and this top is cashmere and you can feel it it's just they're so much warmer and just feel gorgeous and soft it's also got thumb holes i mean i love that it is slightly sheer but i feel like there's something something quite nice about that especially if you're wearing like a nice bra underneath it right is that how you're meant to be wearing it with a nice like white nude bra maybe i need a nudier one 
I love this gorgeous thick rib neckline. This just to me is like a nice evening, going out, dinner, drinks, event top. I'm so boring, but I love sticking to like really good, nice, basic tops. I don't know what the lighting is doing in this video. I'm so sorry, it's dark outside because it is 4.30. <laughs> but this top with my kitten heels, this mango bag, I'm just thinking about events I've got to go to. And my hair done, obviously. Like this, this is really nice, isn't it? Maybe a nicer bra. This one is just like 8,000 years old from M&S. No joke, I think I had it over 10 years ago. I think it's over 10 years old. Don't tell anyone. I kind of really like this. Yeah. Maybe my new Loewe if it arrives. Oh my God, I hope it does. And this jacket, mm, no, maybe this is a bit casual, but this color jacket would be perfect. I'll tell you a more dressy coat that I have at the moment. This one from Karen Millen. It makes me feel a million dollars. It's so long, so, so, so long. Basically almost hovers off the ground but it's a little bit more fitted than I have been wearing recently and I love it. The camel color is beautiful. It feels like a really high quality coat. And this just makes me feel super expensive. But yeah, this is from Caramillin, double breasted, but not too, not too like tight. Okay, and that's it. That are my those are my bits and bobs I've got recently. I feel like I could do better on the coat front. Maybe I should do a video on coats or something like that. But I just wanted to get this up for you guys. I know I've been slacking and I I'm not happy. So let me know if there's any videos you'd like to do see. I quite would quite like to do one on just like autumn outfit ideas and like coats and like wardrobe basics, all that kind of fun stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.